This video is for absolute beginners in beat making. So you are downloading FL Studio for the first time. You have no idea where to press. You have no idea where to go. You don't know anything about beat making. By the end of this video, my goal is to be able to show you every single thing in FL Studio, every single thing you need to know about beat making. And by the end of this video, you should be able to make a beat for yourself. So without further ado, let's get into the video. Welcome to FL Studio beginners class. So let's say you just got your first FL Studio and this is what you'll be greeted with once you open FL Studio. Very simple interface, but I know it looks complicated to you, but we're gonna break everything down. The first thing I always do is to start from a clean split, right? Start from the beginning, let's start from the beginning. So go to files and just say new from template and go to empty. Just start on an empty, empty. So like this is an empty project right now. There's nothing on this project. So let's start, uh, I'll show you a couple of things. Now this part, this thing right here is what we call the channel rack. Uh, this is where most of the magic happens. Uh, but before we go there, let's, let's, just, let's just go through a few interesting things. Now, when, before, you, before you are able to make a bit, there's something we call BPM, right? BPM means beat per minute. So you see when somebody's singing something, there's, there's always a count, right? Three, four, one, two, three, four. Now that's what a BPM means. So say uh, we want to do shaka, 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 oh, shaka, baby. Oh, yeah, shaka, baby. Oh, yeah, shaka, shaka. It's kind of like shaka, 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 shaka. Right? Oh, let's do ke, 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 ke. and the BPM is gonna be like this. Ke, 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 ke. So that, that's what we call a BPM. So for every beat, you need to first set your BPM. And this this is the number right here. You can see this one is set to 140. And there's a small, there's an icon here turned on or off. If you turn it on, it means you're saying it should count it for you. So this is at 140 BPM right now. If I turn this on and press play, you will hear, you hear this. You can hear that. One, two, three, four. All right? So that's our BPM. You can either make it faster or make it slower. Two, three, get, 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 get. So now we are 100 BPM. Very important that you note that. BPM, how to set your BPM. And this right here is our metronome. Metronome is that thing that counts our BPM for us, right? Metronome is that thing that counts our BPM. So keep that in mind as we we'll be going forward. So let me just take you through the interface, everything that we have on FS Studio, and then uh, we'll go back, we'll start making a beat. First thing you need to understand that there are some segments, or oh, let's just come to this section right here. You need to understand this, this is what they call a playlist. Now this playlist is where you arrange your beats, is where you arrange your music, right? This is like, say you want the verse one to be here, or you want the intro to be here, verse one to be here. This is just where you arrange the music, right? That's what a playlist means. I'm trying to like go through it as basic as possible. Now this is a piano roll. This is the second one, this is a piano roll. This is like where you arrange notes, right? As you can see, there are like piano notes here. This is where you arrange notes. We'll still come back to that when we start making uh, the beat properly. But now let's just go through things that are here. And this is our channel rack. This is the third one, the channel rack, right? This is channel rack. This is where you select your sounds. Say you want to use a kick, you want to use a snare, you want to use a piano. Everything will be selected in your channel rack. So keep that in mind. If you feel like I'm too fast in this video, you can actually like pause it or rewind or slow it down so that you can get it. But I'm sure you'll get everything right once we start making the beat, right? So this is a channel rack. And one last thing I want you guys to understand here, or let's do two more things, is this one. This is what we call the mixer. So now this mixer, this is the mixer, this is the mixer icon here. This, is, this mixer is where you arrange or where you put effects on individual sounds. Say for instance, you have, you have like a, a piano sound and then you want to put reverb on it or you want to put delay or you want to put this, anything you want to put on it, it's inside the effects, inside the mixer that you do that. And one last thing is this, this, this fifth one is kind of like the plugin picker, right? You can see this on my left dis disappearing, right? This is where all the sounds that you're going to be using 
are, you can easily select sounds from here, right? So let's 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 leave that at that. I think these are the most important things that you need to understand. Now, for here, this is like a, like I said, this is a, like a blank blank uh, what's it called? First thing you need to do when you want to make your beat in FS Studio is number one, set your BPM, right? Let's let's say we are doing uh let's let's say we're doing like a very simple afro swing right so most mostly the bpm for afro swing is mostly around 100 right so let's just put, keep it as 100 bpm right now we need to start getting sounds so now this is where our channel rack this is a channel rack remember i told you this is a channel rack this is where we select the sounds this is where the, our channel rack and our playlist will actually work so now Let's say the first thing we want to do is drums, right? Let's do our drums first. So you come to your playlist. Let's cancel this channel. Come to your playlist. And you see, as you can see, it says pattern one, right? Just right-click it and rename it. Let's say we want to do drums. Drums first, right? So you can select a color if you want. I like to color my drums. I like to give them, like, let's say, give them orange. This is the drums. Just drag it here. So you can drag it as long as you want. Maybe, like, eight bars or four bars right so these are bars so one two three four that's it but that's like one four bars this is like eight bars so let's continue let's <laughs> you see how it is we've already said we want to do drums this is drums here and then we'll go to our channel rack remember i said channel rack is where we select each sound that we want to use so let's say we want we want like a kick first right so we're trying to build drums, obviously. So we need like a like a kick or something. So let's go for let's go look for a kick. I'm just gonna do a random kick here. Let's do this one, All right? So this is our kick. You see what I did? I just dragged the kick from here and I dropped it into the channel rack. Right? You can easily carry something from here and drop it into the channel rack, and then you have it. Now this is our kick. Right, you can just click it like this, and then it will bring out your kick. This is our kick, right? So now you have two options. You have two options for this uh channel rack. Is it that you you put in the notes here? You see how this is now arranged? They are arranged in sequence. So you see that this is one, two, three, four. This is under one, two, three, four. So they're like each each one of those um things are like beats, right? So it's like so let's just play our metronome, right? Three, four. One, two, three, four, right? One, two, three. So say we want to put our first kick on the first note, right? So two, three, four again. Two, three. See in loops? Because uh we set just use one. So one, two, boom. Boom. So let's put one here. Right? Right? So I said you have two options. Is it that you put it here? Or you right click it and go towards piano roll. You remember we said this is a piano roll. Is it that you come here and pick the piano roll? See the piano roll here? I've already, you can click it here or you right click it and click piano roll. So this is our notes for the for the for the drums. This is a more advanced thing. So right? Two, three. So once you can like follow the metronome, it will be easy for you. So one, two, three, two. Uh, we want another one here. Let's put another one here. One, two, three. Mm. One, two, three. Mm. Something like that, right? <laughs> right? We can easily like select all of this. So I just right click all of this. And then you, if, you, if you want to copy it over, you can just like press shift. And then you can move everything over to the other side, right? So now we have like, like a longer... Right? Right? Oh. Nice. So now we have we have like a kick pattern, right? We have like a kick pattern going in. We can go in for something like a snare, right? Let's, let's just use like a random snare for this. We just, just go back to our piano roll again. And then we do the same thing. Right? Ooh. Okay. Right? Right? 
So we can just do the same thing. Since, since we're not going to be changing anything, just right click everything, hold on shift and drag, click and drag. All right? So do this thing. You can do the same thing here again. Hold and drag to the next. So you have this. All right? So that's our that's like our groove. Hey. Hey. So now uh we said earlier about we talked about this uh playlist earlier, right? Now if I play if I press play, you will notice nothing is moving here because we are still in pattern mode. So you need to switch this to song mode if you want to work inside the playlist because this is where you're going to be arranging your beats. So now I want to work inside playlist and we're just going to switch to song mode. And when I play it now, you see that it's moving and it's showing me what I'm doing, right? It's showing me my progress. If I like, I can add one more of the drums and it will continue, right? So you can build as much as you want here. So let's say this is our groove now. Let's do, let's do one more so that it is long. And then we can use, we can find uh, other percussions to add. Say we want to add like a shaker loop. Right? We already have like a very good, um, a very good, see what I did there? I just dragged the shaker loop. Since it's a loop, I dragged it inside my playlist, right? And I can just double click it and reduce the volume if I want, right? This is a volume, this is the volume right here. I can just reduce it a tad if I want. You see how sweet that is? See how easy it is to make a beat. Now let's let's say we just want to start adding, uh, we want to start adding things. Now we can, we have to let's say we want to add like a let's say like a like a like a piano or keys, right? Just come here. You know we we created a we created a a, a uh, pattern for this. This is drums. Now we're going to create another one. Reason why we can do everything on drums, but the reason why we won't do it here is because we want to be we want to have the flexibility of moving things around, especially when we are arranging our beat. We, we like to be able to like up, turn off the beat at one point, turn it on at another point, and stuff like that. So I'm gonna create another one. Just press plus here, and then you put let's say keys, and then we can give it another nice color. Maybe give it blue, right? And you put it in the in the uh, playlist and I drag it out like this, right? So now we're going back to the channel rack, which is where we select our sound. And now we need to select uh, a sound, right? We need to select something that is good that we're going to play for. So I'm going to be using um, a, a stock plugins, all the plugins that you will already have if you if you have FL Studio. So let's see, let's use um, let's use Morphin. Let's use Morphin. So this is Morphin, and you can just like search for, this is keyboards. Uh, let's use maybe deviating keys, right? We're just picking one, right? So this is deviating keys. Right? So we can just like easily play something. Right? So now, one thing I want you guys to know is I'm, I'm connected to a MIDI controller, which is like a keyboard, so I can play everything here. Right? I'm already connected. So what you need to do is come to here and press record. This is your record. And select, what we want to do is play notes, right? So select notes and automation. And you can come here. This What this thing does, what this three, two, one does is like, it counts like one, two, three, go before you can, before you start. So it gives you like a heads up before you start recording, and which is a very, very good thing so that we, we, we have enough time to process what we want to do. So I, I think we're going to do. Something like that. So let's just record. So once I press play, it's going to count four uh, beats for me before I start recording. So we'll do one, two, three, go. Right? That's that's our chord. Hey. 
You see how, how easy to make to make beat, right? You see, you, you, you understand the reason why the keys are not playing again now? Because it has ended here. That's why I said this is the place you arrange your beat. So if I can just carry another one I put here, it's to play all the way through. And then you can easily just like reduce your volume a little bit if you want. Eh, oh, eh. Right? Eh, oh, oh. Shaka, shaka. Shaka, shaka, baby, oh. Ah, I'm already feeling like whiskey. You, see, you, you get the idea now. So like there's a, there's a bunch of things that you can do. And now for the last thing that we'll talk about on this tutorial before we move to the new, because there's going to be like a series of tutorials. Um, there's one thing I called here the other time that we've not talked about, which is the mixer right here. This is the mixer, right? Just click here and the mixer pops up. Now, what the mixer is, is all the sounds that you have, this is our kick, right? We want everything to have their own channel, to be, to be in an individual channel so that we can be able to put effects on each of one or each of them so now we have a lot of inserts that you can use so let's say this one we want to put kick on this one or we just need to come here and then we'll say one All right you can see i just put this one on one and then if i play let me go to this pattern so that you can see very well so now when i play the kick you can see the kick is coming from here it's coming from one we can put this snare on two and then the snare will come out from the two. So now you can edit, you can like rename this and put, put a name, right? Say we name this one kick. You can select a color if you want. Another trick that people use, or another shortcut, if you want to use a shortcut, is select your your um what you want to put on the mixer from the channel rack. Say we select our snare, and then you come to the channel you want to use. And press Ctrl L, and then it appears there, re renamed by itself. So let's put our shakers on on three, and then we will put our keys on four. All right. So now you can do different things on this. You can easily affect them. You can reduce the volume of the keys like this, or you increase it. You can do anything. Like I said, something about putting effect. Say we want to put uh, effect on on this snare now. Oh, I just right clicked it to solo the snare alone, right? Say, if you imagine you want to put effect on it, just come to the right side here where it says slot. Click on one slot, and let's say we want to put fruity reverb. This is a reverb, and then we can just you can hear, right? You can you can you can try and like mess around with the effect, and then now our our kick our snare has reverb. All right? So now we have, we have like, right? Very easy, very easy, very simple, very easy to, to make a bit. So with this knowledge now, with this basic knowledge, I think you should be able, you should be able to like, like make a basic beat now. And once you're done adding all the things you want to do, just come to the playlist and then arrange it. We're still going to do like more tutorials, a series of tutorials so that everybody can be able to understand what FL is actually like and how you can use it to make the dopest, dopest of the dopest beats. And this is what I use. Of course, this is what I use. This is what I, all those banger beats that you hear me make, this is what I use and this is how I do it. So if you have any questions for me regarding anything that I discuss, please leave it in the comment section and I will be sure to treat it in the next video. Also, uh, if there's something you feel like I you need me to teach, leave it in the comment section. And also, if you feel like I was too fast, because I, I understand that this is an online class and it's not gonna be as uh, swift and as easy as uh, the way I made it seem for some people. So you can easily like rewind or slow down the video like just to get uh, each part right. But I, I, I can assure you that it's pretty easy to do once you can pay attention to it. And I'm sure that you're going to get this. So see you in the next class. Uh, like I said, let me know what you guys need. And I'm, I'm, Queen Piano is going to be here for you. Um, like, see you in the next class. Bye-bye. If you have any questions or suggestions, leave a comment. If you enjoyed this video, click the like button. If you want to support Queen Piano, subscribe. And if you don't like this video, go. Just go.